Good morning. Thank you very much for joining Hawaii Betsin Eitaikyo service. We are fortunate to have Reverend Satoshi Kaimipono Tomioka this year. Let's start service with Bandana Tisara. No.
アオハカコアオハ。Welcome to Hompa Honganji Hawaii Vetsin A Taikyo Sangha Memorial Service. My name is Satoshi Kaimibono Tomioka, Minister of Puna Honganji Buddhist Temple. It is my honor to share the joy of Nen Butsu today with you. I'd like to say thank you to Reverend Toyokazu Hakiyo for having me, also to the Associate Minister s and then Hawaii b e i j i n Sangha. I was the Associate Minister at Hawaii b e i j i n from 2013 to 2017. I have so many memories at Hawaii b e i j i n And when today you see me, you may see some changes in me. I had my hair cut. I have not grown my、uh, beard. Also, you may see I'm gaining, gaining my weight.、Uh, I came to p u n a h o n g a n j i 2017. After I moved here, I gained my weight about 20 pounds. The reason why the,、uh, p u n a h o n g a n j i members and their friends、uh, they come to my house and they're knocking on the door saying, Reverend, This is something to share with you, something to eat. And then I enjoy eating, and then I have never learned how to say no. Therefore, I enjoy, thank you, thank you so much, and then eating, eating. So I now gained my weight, getting a momona. Also, you may notice my ring here.、Uh, finally, I got married in July. So I'm not、uh, yeah, July. So,、uh, every time at h a w a i i b e i j i n time, the members or people ask me, Oh, Reverend, you look so young. How old are you are now? And then, Oh, 25. Oh, are you single or married? I often answer, I'm still available. But now, after I got married, I cannot say that in English anymore. So, I may say, Oh, I'm taken already or I'm not available. So、today, A Taikyo is also a beautiful occasion to deeply think about our life. A、yeah, Taikyo means A long time generations, Kyo or Dokyo, Sutra chanting. So, therefore, A Taikyo also means the temple's aspiration to continue to share and propagate the Dharma, in particular, the n a m e b u t s u teaching. So, from the past, We are receiving this teaching thanks to our past ministers, past members, and people from the community who supported the Hawaii b e i j i n Temple so that we can share the Dharma, especially n e m b u s teaching, Buddha's compassion, wisdom, Namo a m i t a b s to us. So, therefore, today is our turn to deeply receive. Aspiration from past, the name Butsu for me. And then we appreciate, enjoy, and trust ourselves, ourselves to this name Butsu teaching. And our aspiration will be passed on to future generations. So, A Taikyo is、uh, this aspiration from past, present, to the future. And this aspiration is Buddha's wish for me. So you can see the blue circle. Yeah, it is my life, myself. And then, do you still remember my birthday? Do you remember my birthday? Yeah,、uh, I was born January 3rd, 1988. So now I became、uh, 32. So, when I came to Hawaii, I was 25, so now I turn to 32.、Hmm. But、uh, when I say my life of 32 years old, it's a half true.、Yeah. What it means is、uh, to be here, who I am, I cannot be here by, by only myself. I need、uh, this vertical line. This line means To be here, there are so many lives from the past. Thanks to so many lives, a life has been passed on to me from my parents, grandparents, ancestors. Or when I try to trace back to the beginning, what I may say is 
I don't know the beginning of my life. But what I can say is today I'm here thanks to the countless lives from the past. And then my life also will be a part of the future. Also, I do have a not only vertical line, also horizontal line. This showing our human relationship or social, home, community, working, family and their friends. Yeah? We live our life receiving the vertical line. Also sharing, living in this life horizontally. So this also vertical line, also horizontal line. By having these two lines, we can see this place where I am now. So therefore, if this vertical line and then horizontal line moving, moving, my life also moving, moving. Or if we don't have those two lines, this blue line may go anywhere and we don't know where we are going. So therefore, by having those two lines, we will be assured where I am now and where I am going. So therefore, this two line is so important. And then this vertical line is not only life from the past. This is also, we can call it a sutra, teaching the Sopne Butsu from Shakamuni Buddha to me, from India to China, Korea to Japan to Hawaii and then to me. Nebu's teaching is passed on to me so that I can have this Namo Amida Butsu in my life. By having this Nebu's teaching in my life, I'll be assured whatever happens in my life, Amida Buddha, the enlightenment, essence of the truth, accept me, embrace me, and assure my birth in the pure land when I, when I take my last breath. It is possible only because by Amida Buddha's virtue, Pramo Vow, which is Namo Amida Buddha. After I move to Kuna uh, Honganji, I hear all my fellow ministers of Hawaii Bitsin. Sometimes they told me this member passed away. Oh, that member passed away. Every time when I hear that, so many memories come to my mind. Oh, this member was this. Oh, that member I remember, I remember. It makes me so sad. Yeah. At the same time, in our Hongani tradition, we can call them not only our deceased or past members, they are our good teachers. Good teachers who is teaching us truth of life, truth of impermanence, interdependence. They are guiding my life so that I can also encounter this Nebu's teaching, which Amida Buddha's promise. Whatever happens in your life, I shall embrace you, accept you, and then welcome you to the pure land when you take your last breath. So today is again a beautiful occasion for me to encounter this name of the teaching through our loved ones, who is a good teacher guiding my life. Then I want to share one video with you I made about the uh, life of the Nembutsu and then our loved one still, our good teacher who is encourage us to encounter teachings of Nembutsu. Where is Grandma? Written by Reverend Satoshi Kaimipono Tomioka. Grandma and I play together. She teaches me many games, and she is really good at it. After the games, she tells me, I love you. I say, I love you more. Then she says, I love you most and love you forever. Grandma loves flowers. She said, flowers show its beauty as it is.
so you are beautiful as you are. Then she tells me, I love you. I say, I love you more. Then she says, I love you most and love you forever. Grandma knows how to use a smartphone. I taught her. She said, Hey Google, how do I get my granddaughter to eat tomatoes? I don't like tomatoes. Then she tells me, I love you. I say, I love you more. Then she says, I love you most and love you forever. Grandma enjoys reading. She tells me, Mr. Elson Onizuka's words, Your vision is not limited by what your eye can see, but by what your mind can imagine. I like to read books. Then she tells me, I love you. I say, I love you more. Then she says, I love you most and love you forever. Grandma loves sitting in her backyard. She always gives me snacks saying, It is our little secret. I chuckle and enjoy the snacks. It is our little secret. Then she tells me, I love you. I say, I love you more. Then she says, I love you most and love you forever. Since both of my parents died when I was really young, grandpa and then grandma raised me. After my grandpa died, she worked so hard and sometimes she looked so tired. She said, I can work hard for you. I would do anything for you. I am proud of you. Then she tells me, I love you. I say I love you more. Then she says, I love you most and love you forever. Grandma is getting old. She can't play anymore with me. She can't water the flowers, but she looks so happy. She said, I'm grateful. I had a wonderful life. Then she tells me, I love you. I say, I love you more. Then she says, I love you most and love you forever. Grandma is getting sick, really sick. She's suffering in her bed. I said, Please, Grandma, don't go. Please, don't leave me alone. Then she whispers to me, I love you. I say, I love you more. Then she says, I love you most and love you forever. She passed away. Where is Grandma? I miss her. Then I remembered. She used to tell me, If you miss me, say, Namo Amida Buts. I too live in that name. I asked her, What is Namo Amida Buts? She said, Amida Buddha's wish for me. Amida Buddha promised to love me forever. She continued, Guided by Amida Buddha's wish, I will become a Buddha in the Pure Land and always be with you. She continued, In Amida Buddha's wish, we are forever together. I said, Do you promise we are forever together? 
Grandma said, Yes, that's Amida Buddha's promise for us. Then she tells me, I love you. I say, I love you more. Then she says, I love you most and love you forever. Then we said, Namo Amida Buddha together. I placed my hands together and said, Namo Amita Buts. Then I realized, Grandma is everywhere in my life. I hear her voice, I love you. I say, I love you more. Then she says, I love you most and love you forever. Then I say Namo Amida Buts with her. So from that video, the grandmother, we can learn that she just not uh, passed away, but because of the Amida Buddha's promise, she was assured in her life, whatever she may going through, she is not alone. Buddha's compassion forever embracing, accepting her. And Buddha's wisdom truly teaching her the true nature of herself and then guiding her life so that she can live not guided by her attachment or desires, but by guided by Buddha's wisdom. Whatever I may go through, I'm in this Buddha's embrace. This vertical line is a precious gift of life from the, our ancestors. Also, especially from our past teachers, ministers, from Shinran Shoni, Amida Buddha, the primal vow, pass on to me, and then we get to share this joy with horizontally, and then we can spread this next teaching with Amida Buddha and then our loved ones. Let us joyfully share this next teaching together with others. Thank you so much. Mahalo.
Thank you for participating 2020 Hawaii Betin Itaikyo service. Thank you, Reverend Tomioka, for sharing the Dharma. Please take care and see you again next week. Thank you. Good morning. This is Reverend Jan. I have been very well, and I hope you have been too. Um, since I guess what January or even February, but definitely March. But um, we have been shut in, and sometimes we sneak out, and I think everyone has done that. But that's okay. But you know what? It's exciting in a way of how we have to live with the conditions of the times, you know? Um, you know, we, what's most important, I think, for me has been all the things that I thought I had control of. And then fully, I am hit smack dab in the head um, to realize I really cannot control everything. But you know what I learned this morning? That was the best part. And Yuika Sensei, you know, this is really fun. You go on Zoom, and do you know that you can tell Zoom to um, somehow make over your how you appear? So the lipstick and the eyebrows are Zoomed, not mine. <laughs> and I thought, this is really great. Next thing I'm going to do is... They only do eyebrow and lips. I'm going to try to see if they can do hair. Then I'll blonde myself. But, and I thought, you know what? It's the little things. It's the little things that we got to pay attention to because it's the little things that bring a lot of joy, you know? And so it's the little things like saying hello to the mailman because that's the only person you're going to talk to today. Or even things like, as you're walking down the road to walk your dog, which is what I do, um, and, and I, when the, I realize, look at how many different people I see. Not that I meet them, but I see them. And I go, wow, you know, I didn't realize Queens Hospital had such a large staff. It is like a community, you know, it's like a village. But it was the little things that made me truly appreciate that no matter what, there are big things happening, but no matter what, it's the little things that keep us going. And the little things, like the realization that, you know, here I am at 76 going through this, and I am a part of an important history. So have a good day, guys, and talk to you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>